Christ for the World Missions welcomes you to Manifest God. The global church and movement founded by the one and only Dr. Baruch Gideon Apau and Bishop Queen. Join us from wherever you are in the world for powerful teachings, powerful praises, powerful worship, and most importantly, the Word of God. Join us to manifest God with Christ for the World Missions, touching the world one heart at a time. Find shelter in the secret place prayer platform. This is Manifest God. Hello and welcome to Manifest God Missions on this Manifest God TV. God himself, his platform that we come into the secret place of the Most High God to go deep into things, the secret things that belongs to the Lord. He has hidden, but that he reveals to us, it is for our use. And that we go to the secret place. And now we are even in the 91 days of prayer with Psalm 91, with the Jehovah God as he used, you know, to even save this pandemic before time. Because it's a God that reveals secret. Manifest God. If you are here and manifest God, child of God, that destiny to your life will manifest. You hear me? That destiny to your life will manifest regardless of any fierce opposition. Whatever it takes for God to distinguish you will be given to you. So that you'll be distinguished among men. Because God manifests himself through you. And this is manifest God. You are welcome to manifest God worldwide. Shalom. Shall we pray? Father God, I just want to thank you and bless you and glorify you. And magnify your name because you are God. Lord, I don't need to close my eyes to speak to you, but the Lord God, in all things of God, we want to close ourselves to the world and to connect to you. And so, Lord God, I mean, it's a point that to say that, Lord, whilst I'm praying, the Lord, you, God, you are in absolute control. Let oh God, your people today, their eyes. Of understanding be open to you and the world the lord that is surrounding them will lord be shut i ask that the lord your power will manifest in the lives of your people we will manifest you god for creation is waiting as the holy spirit to do something special in the lives of the children of god now, the Lord, we will enjoy the life that you sent us to on this earth and even more to come. To your glory, Lord, I pray in the name of the blessed Lord Jesus Christ. And I say amen and everybody say amen wherever you are. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul, and all that is within me. Bless his holy name. Just I want to thank all partners and our people that are watching this on all the different platforms because God has called us to send the word to every corner. Just send the word. One thing that you should know, child of God, that you are a VIP. That's why I greet you all, you know, and all the leaders of the Manifest God for myself and Bishop Queen. We send the love of God to you, and we want to say thank you for being there in this partnership where we are bringing a whole lot of the army of God, the Gideon's army, to rise up and put the Midianites to sleep. Where they belong, they're going to run off because we carry God. And that is the amazing part 
or manifest God. We want to, it's, it's just that light and power that seems to be extinguished in your life is going to be let oh, light. The light is just going to shine just like that. It's going to lit up and with light inside you. Glory be to God. And if you hear, whichever day, time, moment you are hearing me, I believe the Holy Spirit will do something special in your life. Something special in your life. The joy of the Lord is your strength, and that is the truth of that joy is what Jehovah God is bringing to you today. And I believe that by the time you finish this broadcast, you will listen, something new will happen inside you. I've been talking on the enjoying life, how God created you to maximize what that is being said inside you. So Jesus Christ says that the works that I do, you should do, and greater works shall you do. It is not fables or stories. It's not just some things that are being said. That is the truth. And to God, I want to bring you to a place of spiritual harmony that affects your spirit, soul, and body. There are too many troubles and challenges in the head of man and all the kind of confusion. But whenever we, any time, begin to be shaken, we have to go back to our roots. We have to go back to where it started from and how it was supposed to be and how it was made and recollect everything and come back to it and begin to enjoy what Jehovah God gave you. I've been talking about a life that you need to enjoy and I'm, I'm making some serious points from scripture. I want you to know that no matter what the opposition is on the other end, that destiny of yours, and somebody say amen, when you are the destiny of yours, the destiny that has also been ordained by God for you, that destiny is going to be manifested because that destiny is in the hands of God. It was breathed into you and that breath of life that, that came inside you and no one can stop it. I want you to say with me, no one can stop my destiny. No power can stop my destiny. No force can stop my destiny. I am of God. He, say, he says, little children, he says, when you look and you see yourself in so little, you so little, you are of God, it means that it changes everything. You are of God, changes everything, you little children. So you, it doesn't matter how little you look, because what is in you that matters? What that is inside you says, because greater you see that is in you. Oh my God, I feel the Holy Spirit here. Greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. I remember when I was always been fighting so hard when I see the enemy, you know, using all sort of tricks. But God was really speaking to me on you know, a, a building that belongs to us and they want to use foul means to take it. And when I've been like fighting it and putting them in their place and one night go told me, son, go back to the vision that I gave you and how you wrote it down and read it for yourself when you wrote it. And I searched into my archives and went back to it. And then what did God say to me? He says that I, in my own writing, written and printed. And I, I remember um, when one time I even sent it to one of my sons that are called Gerard, you know, and he printed it and emailed it back to me. So I went looking for the email as well, and it was there again. And he says that the, the, what God has called us to do, it goes beyond in the physicality, and he says it, be, it, it goes beyond a physical building. And then the Lord made me write it down that it is not about the building. It is not about what, how it looks. 
it says what is done in the building is more important than what the building looks like. What is done in the building and what can be done in the building is to determine is determined by who is inside that building. Who is inside that building determines what is done inside that building. And child of God, I just get so excited in the spirit and I say, Jehovah God, I leave it to you. I know I I like fighting both spiritually and I fight physically. I go, but Lord God, this is amazing stuff that you're saying. And what happens inside a building is more important than what I've seen outside. And then how it looks, the things I look. So then the, in that vision and says that, what makes what's inside the building when it is taken outside the building, what impact that it gives, wherever it goes, it gives the same impact. Oh, hallelujah. And it says, you are the building and what inside you is what makes the difference. Oh my God, that's so powerful. That is so powerful. And I'm saying, I want you to say to yourself, that destiny to your life will manifest regardless of anything. That destiny to your life will, will manifest regardless of any kind of opposition that is coming. They may try to take physical things, but that which is in you is greater than he that is in the world. You may be little. You may look so small. You may look smaller than the physical building. You may look so smaller than the car that you sit in. But what inside you is what makes even that car that will move is because of the one that's seated inside. And that which is inside you makes a whole lot of difference. I wanted to call, mention your name, child of God. Mention your name and say that my destiny is certain to come to pass, irrespective of any opposition that is on the other end, however fierce it may be. You are destined for victory only because greater is he that is in you than the he that is in the world. Your life is to be lived as a life. And life, the life is supposed to be enjoyed. And I prophesy to you, mention your name, that a man of God is prophesying to me and is saying that joy unspeakable joy is mine because I was created with the life of God to enjoy life. Oh, that's amazing. No matter what, you know, you'll be distinguished. You'll be set apart. You will be, uh, uh, you will look different wherever you go, wherever you stand. The, the, because the one in you, oh, is this little children. Greater, you see, this is it's not about how the size that you look like. It is the the size that is inside you. My God, the size that is inside you. Now we're gonna go into this. Just get into enjoy life. Your life is to be enjoyed. Your life is made of the life of God. And I, I, I want to make sure that you understand this. And because I got to understand this, you got to understand this. There is so much power. There is so much power. And I want to teach you spiritual things. You know, in, in, in Manifest God is about the secret place of the Most High God. And he releases all the truth in Psalm 91. We are on a platform that reveals secrets. And I want you to call your daughter, your son, your children. Now, there's a lot of time that a lot of kids and young people are facing all the challenges online and all the situation. Manifest God, we have been called to wake the new generation up and the coming generation. And if you have any cause of alarm for any of your children, now call the line that is on the board. They, we are raising an army of great youth around the world. They don't need to come to a building. You want to hear me? They can be anywhere and they will be connected. That is the, the access of what God has given us. 
We manifest God. It's not about a church. We want to gather these children and uh, we, they, they were never going to be meeting with us on their church times. We're just going to connect online. And the uh, fire of God, the power of God, and this is what I call the VIPs of the, uh, the next generation and the now. They are very important people. And you are a VIP or manifest God, mission, members, whatever. You are a very important person. You are a VIP. We teach you how to enjoy that VIP position that is yours for the taking. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You know, because, you know, you belong to the I am. Oh my God, that I am. You belong to the, you are carrying the I am that I am. My God. And weeks ago, I was, I was teaching on the I am that I am. You know, the English translations says this I am that I am. But I am that, you know, when it, it talks about I am, it does is speaking about the breath of God, that I am, that I am in the Hebrew it says, I am who I am, and I will become what I choose to become. I love this here, that, this, this thing. And I keep reading to myself, and I want to tell each other, God, oh, hallelujah, you read it to yourself. Tell, to say it, that he says, I am who I am. I will become what I choose to become. You are a child of God. You carry God inside you. You choose, you can choose to become. That's why I'm saying your destiny, whatever it takes that is, is inside you to distinguish you will be given to you today. And you will be a kind of a, a, a whole revelation in this life that you live in. Because you were meant and born to enjoy Every, every revelation that God has, because, you know, when you get to a place, don't worry about the things you pack, the things you go with. And that is what is contaminating the true enjoyment. You want to carry this, you want to carry that, you want to carry that, you want to carry everything. You know, it's, it's just like uh, um, when I am traveling or moving to going to anywhere, I take this. it takes all my time. Oh my God, it takes all my time. You take this, you think you need this. You take this, you think you need that. You, and you carry all the wealth to it. And then you find out it is only a burden that you carry. You didn't actually carry things that's going to really make a difference in you. You carry it because one is looking at the physical, everything I might need, I might need, I might need this. In this revelations of enjoying your life, you need to carry one thing in God. You're carrying God. And when one carries God, the I am works. Not that God. That is what I says. Is I am simply means that you will become. It says I will become what I choose to become. When someone is carrying the I am, the Yahweh that I am, whatever that is needed at that spot and that moment, or is able to reproduce and become what he wants to become. No, no challenge is, is big. No challenge. Nothing can touch and even affect your destiny because you have been made of God and that destiny will definitely manifest. And that manifestation is the God of joy inside you. Now, I want to just read this. this. I am what I am as well. What? I am what I am. And I will be what I will be. Oh, my God. And that, that is the distinction of the significance of the almighty God in your life. And that is the meaning of your definition in this life that you live in. 
And not until anyone understands the true definition of who you are and what makes you who you are, it becomes like almost, oh my God, it's too much trouble. And that wasn't your destiny. Troubles were not made for you. All those connections, everything that is made was made. And God said, I found it to be good. And it's only good when it goes through him and that him is inside you and i hallelujah you go and manifest god now you know it's it's manifesting that god is the attribute that is given us to enjoy life because imagine yourself oh my god imagine yourself when you say something something is broken and you say Oh, let it be mended. Then it gets mended. And you go in and you're not afraid of anything, but you just go in as a child of living God, enjoying that peace and harmony. And you you you, you know your car tire is is has lost uh, um air. And then you call, you say, for instance, you say to um a word, you know, you have a program, it's a word, your car has got a word, you know, word, are you there? It says, Yes, I'm here get air into my tire and the tire comes then the tire comes up you actually are enjoying yourself because you just have to say and a master happen and it will happen and that is manifesting god and not until everyone understands that and begin to enjoy the power inside us the power inside us it becomes a, a, an issue he says that so it says, I will be what I will be. I create whatever I create. You know, we're so creative. We're so creative that we can create anything. And the God didn't give you any spirit of fear. So that, that is not part of you. He created you to be able to create love. Oh, my God. Anyone can create love. You enjoy the love of God. When there is so much hatred in the world, there is so much challenge of pain in the world, you, you create love. When it is most needed, when you feel so lonely, you feel so treated badly, you feel so down, you feel like words that are coming to you, you have the power, the inside you, you see. That's what the Lord spoke to me about. He, he, you know, uh, it's good that my mind was on temple 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 all the time so jesus christ says break this temple down and in three days i will raise it up simply means i am the creator i can create i can create i'm able to create so you just put it down and i'll bring life back into it you see so you you, you, you can create and it says that i create whatever i create and that is why God did a lot of diversities of things, created so many things. And it, when he comes to live inside you, oh, child of God, when he, just, he told me that it is not about the building. It is not an external building. It is not that, but what happens in the building. What is inside, what is being produced in the building, that is what matters. So, you know, today in this world, people have made it look so gathered thousands and millions of people under one shelter. You know, it is not about the sitting in the shelter. It is what is inside them that makes a difference. That is what made a difference. And when your cup overflows, there is no building that can cap anything that is overflowing. That overflowing is the manifesting God. And today you are going to overflow. You and your children, your children's children, children's children will overflow. My cup runs over. That's it. You can create. I, I, I speak into your divine life right now. I speak into your divine life. One minute we're going to be reading a scripture, but I speak into your divine life to spring out like a well of living water. 
that is gushing out of you. And I say to you, you can never be defeated. No, say it seven times. I cannot be defeated. 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 Why? Because greater is he that is in me than he that is in the world. I can create. Even when it seems like all is taken out of me, is taken off from me, there is God in there. If I will create again. That is why I'm undefeatable. Oh, say to yourself, I am undefeatable. Now say to yourself, I am unbreakable. You cannot be broken. Nobody can break you because you will recreate. You come back. You will come back. Because that life of God inside you is, is springing like a well of life. Oh, child of God, you tell yourself, I'm unbreakable. I cannot be broken here. I can lose because I never lose. Anything that goes, it reproduces itself again. I want you to believe this. And I want to let you know that these words that I am speaking to you, they are not ordinary words. You know, the most powerful thing, you know, in this series I'll be teaching you, the most powerful thing that God gave man is what we call prayer. And that is, that, that word prayer is a communication with God and a lot of luck to it. If you say you pray and you haven't received it, you didn't really pray. Didn't really pray because prayer is answered, and that that is the the, the, the what I'm uh, by His grace trying to bring to the body of Christ. That what is inside you, it is the the, 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 the understanding of who is inside you, the understanding and the connection between the one inside you that connects and the link. The, 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 the kind of relationship between that which is inside you, it is what brings out what makes the answered prayer. It is not only the saying of it. The saying of prayer only brings the awareness of God. It is contributed. It brings the awareness of God. It brings God to be seen and in position. When you read prayer, it is it it's it is it is a it's a level. Reading prayer just brings the awareness. It makes you know. And if you follow the reading of prayer, or somebody says prayer and for you, and you also say it after them, they all are good. It, it brings the awareness of God and the words and the lyrics and the writings and the poems. It all brings us from awareness of God that we are praying, but the, it's never effective until one understands who is in you and you today by the spirit of the living God. God is revealing himself inside you. Oh, somebody say hallelujah because I feel the power of the Holy Ghost. He says that I create what I create. That's amazing power. I love it. I love when he says, I create whatever I create. I create whatever. You know, so you can never lose. It's, that's it. A life of continuous joy. And the link inside you, oh my God. The link inside you is the God that is inside you that is life. For the words that I speak, they are spirit and they are life. I'm talking to you from a, a life that is full of spirit and full of life. It is a life that is connected to the Almighty Himself. It's a life that is a, a is a joyful life. Oh, Tara God, it is an amazing grace. It's an amazing grace. It's a it's, it's so sweet. And that life is to be enjoyed. When God's life is inside you, 
when Jehovah God's life is inside you, when the ocean of life is inside you, the other guy you cannot lose. You cannot lose. It's, it says the I am is the one that lives there. And he's saying that I create whatever I create. Oh, I am the existing one. I'm the only one who is the existence. I'm the only one who is the existence. Now, he lives inside you. He is the one, the God that is in you, is the God that needs to be manifested. And in this time and season, I pray that God will be awake in you. You know, there are times that God may be pretending to be sleeping. And he has been pretending to be sleeping in a lot of people's life today. And I'm here to wake that God up in you. Why will God pretend to sleep? Because he never sleeps. He never slumbers. But you can put God to sleep so easily. You and I, we can put God to sleep so easily. This is how it works. When we decide to do it ourselves with our own skill without involving him when he's inside and he's got all the skill and we need that contact the life that is life that is can never be broken that life that's on the cross even when they said his bones can never be broken that life is inside us all kabatarobosha the life of god inside you so they pretty well on the ship. And this is a story of the 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 the, the, the uh, experts. Some guys they were so much. They uh, they are experts. They've been on the sea. They've been trained on the sea. They know how to deal with the storm. They've done it all of their lives. These guys all of their lives, at least a minimum of thirty years of their lives, if not more. They had experience on the sea, and the sea has never swallowed them up before. They have never seen a position where the storm was overwhelming and they couldn't handle it. They have seen levels of storms and they have always come out of it without panicking, without even feeling like they will be perishing. And these guys, they were so solid. They were not one, they were not two, they were more. And they, they were in the boats on the sea where they have been. It is their working place. It is their office, you may call it. If you work in a warehouse, it's in their warehouse. If you are a, a navigator, you live on a ship, that is their base. They sleep there. They work there. They do everything there. That's how they make their ends meet. They are very good. So, when they get on the boat and they have the maker of the sea with them on the boat, the maker of the sea, who knows the ins and outs of the sea, oh my Lord. I pray that Je Jehovah God, Yahweh will wake up today in your life. I pray right now. Yahweh will wake up now. I'm giving a knock to Yahweh in your life now. Lift up your hands wherever you are right now. Lift up your hands to the Almighty God. And Yahweh will wake up. You know, your skill has tried it. It's not your plans, your ways. You've done handled the situation many times. But you, 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 you. This time it is a different time. You are with the master, and this, this, the storm is blowing. You know this is how he sleeps because when he is sleeping, he's pretending to be sleeping because you have put him on the side. He says. Oh God, you've done your bits when we were, you went all oh, do all the preaching. When I was going to preach, I needed you. So I welcomed the Holy Spirit in the preaching. You came and the blind were seeing. The cripples were walking. The things that you needed to do, you did it. You did it so well. 
But now it has come to me. I am the boss in this circumstance. I am the true boss in this. I know I've been taught how to do this. I've got a degree in it. I've done it many years. I've got so much experience. I am, I am a doctor in this. I am a professor in this. I know how to handle. I know how to handle children. I've been, I am a, I'm a social worker. I'm a nursery teacher. I, I am a psychologist. I am a chemist. I'm a dad, I am a driver, I know how to drive, I've driven all my life, I'm a lawyer, I know how to do this, I'm, I'm, I know, I'm a philanthropist, I know how to raise funds, I know how to do that, I know how to play football, I know how to score goals, this is mine, that's not yours, I know how to run, I'm, I'm, I'm an artist, I know how to draw, this is mine, that is my area, I am, I'm, 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 I'm an athletic person, I know how to handle this, I know how to somersault, I've done this I've been taught all of my life. I know this. I am a manager. I can manage the situation at work. I, I have a PhD in this. I'm a fitness person. I'm in, I'm, I'm in an order. I know what I'm doing. So you just have a sleep. God sleep and leave it with me. Many people have not been able to manifest the God who is Yahweh only because we are saying in this area, I am the best. You sleep. This is not raising the cripple, open the eyes of the blind. This is not uh, that issue. I am the Lord of this problem. I can sort it out. These are the sad things that put God to sleep. Today we're going to wake him up in your life. You're going to wake him up. You're going to wake him up. And these, these young people, they started doing it. They did all the strategies. Now the water was overwhelming and they realized that the storm has become more difficult than they thought. They said, we've never seen this before. And those who let put God to sleep in their the whole episode. What they believe that they can do better than Him, child of God. If we are uh, we we we, are, we have seen a challenge for too long, it is about time we surrender. Just sit for a few minutes. Just close your eyes. I'm going to come back to this message, but I just feel the Holy Spirit here. Close your eyes and look at so many of those challenges that seems to linger for too long it's it's now getting scary because is is it really going to happen that's the question you're asking my god see the situations it could be a family situation it could be a financial situation it could be a job situation that wants to creep in and take the joy that God has given you to enjoy. And then you now feel like, I have got to, I've done everything that I know. Yes, you're not lying. You've done everything that you know, but you have also done something that you know that you think God should sleep. And are you saying it's so overwhelming? There's no time now to waste, my God, Holy Spirit, I welcome you. And to see back at all, she de kakabaku, pata de bisipo, santarabakaba, reme ka super ekalo to pre de kando sebi kando sa, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. If you've been wondering why I'm speaking in the spirit and the tongues, uh, you know, it's a, a time. I'm edifying myself and I'm speaking the spirit uh, and speaking to mysteries because I feel the presence of the Lord because I want to come to you to begin to be ignited that there is somebody that needs to be awake in your life. It's in that boat. And these gentlemen, they were the very disciples of Jesus, Yeshua, God. And uh, they started now screaming, Eastern, child of God. 
a blaming God for not doing it as these people started doing, saying, don't you care that we are perishing? Why are you sleeping and all that? You wake him up and say, Lord, we surrender to you. And Lord, I am sorry. I took you out of the boat and I tried to handle it myself. Now wake up in me. And when God wakes up, say, guess what? Anything that is a storm in your life, my God, that the flow of the Holy Spirit, I feel the anointing coming to you. Open your hands and take the power of God right now. Receive the function of God. God is waking up in you. God that you put to sleep is waking up in you. It's waking up in me. It's waking up now. Oh, the spirit of the Lord is upon me because he has anointed me. That means he's awake now. He has anointed me. The anointing of the Lord that destroys the yoke To set the captives free. Now anything that is captive in your life this moment is being set free and the joy the joy of God is coming to you in power oh I feel the presence I feel the power of the Holy Spirit right now wherever you are is coming to you this moment I give you glory me I wrote Aladdin surely the presence of the Lord is here with you because he's awake all of a sudden. We did it on our own. We fought all the battle on our own. We know where we gave him the place to take and he took it. We have assigned a room to God and there is a place where the most serious that we think we have the power to handle. We know in that area. So we kept him asleep. Now we call on him, wake up, God, and come and take your place. And I'm manifesting God. Now you say, Jesus, wherever you are. If you don't know him, just still call him. He will come. You don't need to know him to call him. But you feel him because he lives inside you all this time. You are not created without him. So just call Jesus and he will come. Whoever calls upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Ah, he will save you. We call upon the name of Jesus wherever you are. You can call yourself anything. You can say that I don't, I'm not a Christian. I'm not, a, I'm, I'm, I'm not Jewish. I'm not this. I'm not Muslim. I'm not this. I don't know Jesus. I'm, I am, I'm, I, 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 I don't, I'm an atheist. I don't know him. But you call upon the name of Jesus. You'll be saved this minute. You don't have to own electricity in your house for you. So far as the power is flowing through the current and there is a place that says on and you press on. It doesn't matter who presses that on. It goes on and the light will come and shine upon them. Everyone, child of God, you know him called Jesus this minute. Man, they can call shit Call Jesus. He will come. He will save. He will wake up. God will wake up. When you call Jesus, God wakes up inside you. That is the only easiest way to get God to work inside you. That is the only way. Easiest way. There are so many ways to try to find God. But I can tell you, that is so difficult. That is so difficult. The most easiest way to manifest God. There are so many ways one can manifest God. But the most easiest and easiest accessible, call upon the name of Jesus. Call upon Yeshua. He will come in. He made the access so easy. Call upon him. Waking God up in the name of Jesus. Waking God up in the name of Jesus. And he will wake up. He will wake up. Oh my Lord, I feel your spirit here. He will wake up. 
Thank you, Jesus. I feel the Holy Ghost. I feel that an anointing, a child of God, I know is reaching out to you as well. Mm, I feel the presence of God. He will wake up and guess what? When he wakes up, he says, peace, be still, the storms become quiet. Because the master of the storm lives inside you. He created the sea. He says, then they say, what manner of man is this guy? That is the Yahweh that I'm bringing you to tell God. That is the Yahweh. He can do anything. He can cause anything. That is the name that I wanted to stick in you. I am that I am. He can make himself anything that he wants to become at any time. He can create whatever he wants to create. He can exist in any form that he wants to be. He can show up anywhere, whether it's in darkness, whether it's in light, whether it's in the deep parts of the world, wherever the circumstances are. He can show up and that is the God inside you. I'm saying to you, child of God, that you are meant in life to enjoy the life that God gives you. That destiny to your life will manifest regardless of any fierce opposition like the storm. Regardless of any entity, any governing power, any authority, any written or non written, any spoken and unspoken, because when Yahweh that lives inside you, he is the word. He is the word. He is the word. There are so many words. He says that, you know, that, that, that he says uh, uh, in, 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 when Peter was speaking these words in the book of us, he said when Peter was speaking these words, these many, many words, we can speak them. People can say all sort of things, uh, but the word of God, that is what will establish in your life. I am charging you to move from one level to the other level. Go into the manifest God, the things that you have left on on the side and thinking, let me put it on the side because I'm not able to do this. No, I am will always, I am, is the, I am not able. No, you, there is nothing like I am that says not able. I am comes in, it means you are igniting Yahweh and he is, 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 is that he is who he is and he will become what he choose to become. So when that challenge comes, you need a breakthrough. He can choose to become that breakthrough that God inside you, when he manifests, he becomes anything that he wants to become. He creates anything, whatever he wants to create. So you walk with the power. You and I walk with that power and then we go oh my god my rebel call you go and manifest god i say these things that i'm telling you they are true because he is the way the truth and the life the life is the way the truth and life. And I want to. I, I've been speaking or know the positivity of the power that is inside you. I wanted to go back into you and go back to who you are, what entered you, what came into you, what made the difference of you being you. That life was your source. And I want to read a scripture. And we come back to give God the glory. And before we close this this segment, I'll say that you want to see. You know, let's let's read what you made of. You made up something very very extremely wonderful. In Genesis two verse seven, you made up of something very special. So I don't let anybody tell you anything. But I want to. I'll be coming to close this with some remarkable words. Remarkable words, you know. The word is so different. And then uh, we will come with some remarkable ways that I want you to practice. Child of God, don't practice them. Make it part and parcel of your life. It's, you enjoy it when you see it happening. You see, you haven't asked anything until now. Ask and you receive and your joy may be full. I want to tell you, child of God, there is a joy that is inside you that needs to come out. Genesis 2 verse 7, and the Lord God formed, that's I'm reading from the Amplified Version, and the Lord God formed, that is created the body 
of man from the dust of the ground. So you hear me carefully. God formed and created the body of man, the body of man, you know, from the dust of the ground. Now hear what happened. So the body was made from the dust of the ground and breathed into his nostrils. Now something is about to happen here, child of God, taking a deep breath. Mm, I love to breathe because it always reminds me of what is inside me. And breathed into his nostrils the breath of life. Somebody say life. Keep on saying life. That is what I'm saying. You, you were made of life. You were made of life. The, the, the whole physical being was the coming from the dust. But then you, out of the dust now came when the, 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 the breath of God, that is a life. It says, breathe into his nostrils the breath of life. And, and something changed. The man, the dust that was lying down, the body that was lying down, that became a living being. You live now because God came into you. The life of God came into you and I, and we became a living being. An individual, here, what the amplifier is saying, an individual complete in body and spirit. An individual who is complete in body and in spirit. God breathed into you the breath of life. And he had the tree of life in the garden. So yours, there's only one thing that connects to Joseph and I from the beginning. The tree of life. Because it is life that lives inside us. And there's only one thing that connects spiritually that makes us a living being, full and complete, both in body and in spirit, both. So the body and the spirit becomes an individual who is complete. The completeness of God came with the life of God that made the body and the spirit complete. And it is the life that made the brother, body and the spirit all to be complete. So, and it is only connected to one thing, the tree of life. And child of God, we have been telling you that the tree of life means enjoy life and it is God inside you. What God that came in you from the very onset, what you carry is life. And it's the life that you carry in you is a joyful life, it's full, complete. Your physical being and your spiritual being becomes complete in the joy of the Lord. It's full of God. And that is what it is. And that is how do you go back to the origin and begin to see who you are. The life of God is, was made inside us. Oh, hallelujah. And that is why the Lord says, stay away from the tree of knowing good and evil. Man, good and evil. That God inside you. It's the God that you need to know. And that was brings you the joy. And I'm going in my next session, I'm going to treat it. The God that inside you, the life, that is all that you need. And that is all that you need to get yourself acquainted with. That is all that you, you need to really know. That is the all that, so you don't need any knowing that is why it says anything to do with the tree of knowing good and evil is not needed. The only, the only knowing that we, you and I need to know is to know the life that lives inside us and know that life where? That life. And that is what brings all that has happened that we have seen that we are to, to enjoy the, the light everything that he made for us everything that he says you have right to enjoy everything on this earth they are all yours name them put a name to them and enjoy them have power to name everything 
And that life that is inside you was him inside you and ignite that love. Get to know that is the connection between yourself and him. That is the connection between when he is around, you can tell and you will feel comfortable with him. The comfortability is a life of God. It is not all about knowing good and evil. The tree of the knowledge of good and evil is the killer of mankind. And child of God, I want to tell you, like God said, enjoy him, the tree of life, and stay out of the tree of knowing good and evil. Today is still working. Today is still working. So Jesus Christ, when he came, he went straight to it. I came that they might have life and have it more abundantly. It's all about life. He wasn't interested in all the, their do's and their don'ts. They are good and they are bad. So when you know, somebody wanted to even point out, he knows he's the good shepherd. And somebody wants to point out good, he says, stop that kind of your, your definition. That definition you are trying to do, you are doing it according to the tree of knowing good and evil. That is not it. If you come into me and you receive that life, you see more than good. It's more, God goes more than good. God is better than good. God is excellent. God is not a good God. is more than good God. Good in the eyes of man is nothing. And I'm going to come back to you. We are prayed. But I want you, get your children involved. Take their numbers. Get your youth involved. We are, there is a whole, we want to make them see the VIP in them. I want you to see the VIP in you. And God has given me the unction to get and raise a new generation to see their VIPs. You are a VIP. You know, we are there to help you. We are here to manifest God. And you see a change in your son. You see a change in your daughter. You see a change and a big change. Don't let this go by. You know, if you don't have anything to do with them and it's a big challenge, just call us and you will see that God will manifest in that child's life the new life that is a true life. They can hear God more than anything. It's only the kind of way we take them there. I pray that the peace of God will be with you in this moment in time. And I pray that the joy of the Lord will be you. Don't miss the next session because I'm going to go in detail how, what ignites that life and makes the life a different life in our lives to enjoy life. And until I see you again next week, the same time or anywhere else that you see, I want you to live a life full of joy. I proclaim it and I say by next week this time or any time you hear my voice again, you'll be promoted from another level to another level. A level of peace, joy and harmony. The Lord loves you more than you think. Just call upon his name and you'll be saved. No matter who you are, just call upon the name of Jesus. You'll be saved. Shalom.